Andre, I'm so excited. Just minutes ago, Ford dropped off two F-250s. What do they drop off? Well, we have brand new trucks, brand new generation. This race red is an XLT crew cab 4x4, and it's a sport edition as well. And over here, we have a platinum truck, very luxurious F-250, but it's also a tremor. It's an off-road ready beast. Yeah, and let's play a little bit of a game now. This red one is a gasser. It's got the 7.3. This one, of course, is a power stroke, so it's got the diesel. And I took a peek at the Monroni, and this guy is 70000 Now, you guys, if you want to play, it, play along at home, have to figure out how much more the diesel with the trimmer package With the platinum. With the platinum. Yes. And if the fancy seats, right, that's got the 300-way seats and leather and all kinds of stuff. So at the end of the video, we will tell you, but take a guess. And, and this video is also all about options, right? Should I give them a hint? What, what is it? You could buy a car for the difference in price between these two. <laughs> Actually, Actually you could, a few, uh, you many different cars. All right, yeah, all right, all right. Okay. So there's your hit. So okay. you're saying, Andre, the difference is in options. Well, yeah. And so this base truck, so if you just bought a gas V8 XLT F250 without any options, it would be about $54,000. So you see how you built up those prices using many different packages. Yeah, uh, I love the color. Uh, and as you recall, Andre, we had the 7.3 as a long-term F-250. Yeah. Uh, and we actually built it up, and it did really well. You know, I was to the point where I'm not sure you need the diesel, but you want the diesel. Yeah, exactly. So should we uh, look under the hood really quick yeah, and then take them for a ride? Yeah, I'll pop it. You show them, okay? Okay. All right. So this, like I mentioned, many, many different packages. One of them is the, what they call a sport appearance package. So we do have really fancy i think painted black wheels we have also no chrome if you look at the grill of this truck it's kind of monochromatic black versus red and actually this is tfl colors roman i know there you go under the hood godzilla. Is, the, is the latest godzilla this is the v8 they also now have the 6.8 liter all right, right. hold on so what, I, what? I think godzilla was not a great name for this engine right because when it first came out we were like oh my god this is going to have a ton of horsepower and a ton of torque but then Ford tuned it for longevity. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a working vehicle, right? Yeah. It's so, a heavy-duty so, truck. So it doesn't compare in any way, shape, or form to the, what's under the hood there. So 430 horsepower. Well, okay, and, horsepower. Uh, okay, horsepower is pretty good, yeah, okay. right? 430. And 485 pound-feet of torque, which is by itself pretty good. But, it, of course, it never will compare to a diesel torque, right? Yeah, it's more like a Mothra. <laughs> Is 10 speed. A, is, that a, is that a reference you get? Yeah. Okay, I, right, you get doesn't it have wings? Yes. Right? Okay. It's, the big, it's the big thing that fights Godzilla. Yes. That's okay. Pretty good. Okay. All right. I'll open up the other one. How okay. about transmission? What's the transmission here? So both of these have Ford's 10 speed automatic heavy duty transmissions, which I think is a pretty good thing because you have many different uh, ratios for uh, gearing and also good acceleration and really good efficiency overall. Oh my, this is a much more uh, packed engine bay. Yes. Oh God, how much horsepower and torque does this guy put out? So, dude, this is a high output. Yeah. So this is the latest version of the Power Stroke. It's a 6.7 liter, 500 horsepower, which is only, what, 70 more, right, than the gas V8. But 1,200 pound-feet of torque, which is, what, almost triple? Well, not quite triple. Almost, but, more than double. Yeah, yeah. more than double uh, what the gas V8 does yeah so people of course love uh, diesel engines uh, but the question you know that you're always asking yourself is do you really need the diesel and the answer to that has to do with towing right how much does that one tow and how much does this one tow well actually um, the towing is um, kind of close so this one would be around like 18 or 20 thousand pounds right it's a lot. Uh, yeah which is still a lot for a truck this is over 20 thousand pounds by about you know 22 thousand approximately but we should also let, take a look at payloads right yeah because the payloads are going to be different and also uh, of course suspensions are very different so let's start with this payload because the stickers on this side yep. of the truck now, this is a tremor package, which of course means it's lifted. Uh, it's got the winch, so it's more of an off-road package, off-road tire. So what's the payload on this bad boy? Oh, it's not bad, dude, for a luxury truck. 2,876 pounds, it's right there. Yeah, this, and, will, this yeah. will tow a good size fifth wheel. And also, we have a lot of questions from our viewers, from you guys, about tire pressures, right? Yeah. And this sticker also shows you recommended tire pressure for this truck. 
Yeah, and usually keep in mind the tire pressure is set up uh, for max towing. Yeah. Uh, so or maximum carrying capacity, capacity right? Capacity. Yeah. So yeah. like we have our Ram 2500, we actually run the tire pressure a little bit lower. Uh, because it gives you a better ride and actually we found that the tires were a little bit better if the pressure is lower but it does obviously take away from the ability to tow and right. the ability to haul so if you are thinking about towing maximum loads like a fifth wheel trailer behind here or something then you need to air up the tires yeah and then if you take these off road you better have at least a dual pump system because airing up these big tires to the recommended tire pressure, which is usually in the 60s right i have a question roman yeah. how much do you think this roll up tonneau cover costs a lot. Yes, you're right. It's twenty-two hundred dollars. And you gotta give uh, you kind of gotta give Rivian credit for this, right? They kind of pioneered it long before Tesla, you know, also did it. And now the major OEM manufacturers, the legacy manufacturers, Andre, are doing the roll-up, and it's a good idea. It does take up space over here. Though. Yeah, and it is Ford branded. Yeah. I don't think I think Ford, of course, outsources a lot of the engineering on the tunnel cover. But look, it's really fancy. It's got drain. Uh, hoses so if this collects water um, the water will drain out and this is really fancy and it's expensive that's why these trucks are very expensive and to, to be fair to Ford and, and actually Rivian uh, their roll-up tunnel cover has failed miserably <laughs> and but most people one... most people who got the first version of it uh, it doesn't work of course theirs is powered or was powered uh, and they're re-engineering it here let me show you my favorite part of this truck yeah come on over here Ian, do you have a key? Uh, no, I have a key. No, it's right there. I love those dual exhaust tips. I mean, you know, you've got yourself a diesel power stroke when you see those two bad boys. Yeah, and um, this will this tailgate should close itself. Yes. Um, by the way, another fancy feature on this truck. Uh -huh. uh, if you look on top of the tailgate, yeah, it has a camera. Oh, so that's so. Good. So when the tailgate is down, so yeah. let me do that again. So normally it would have a. a a camera well, here, here. Hold on. let's go inside I'll, I'll go inside with Ian I'll, I'll boot up the camera if and I can. can you look at me I'll try yeah. uh, if I can hold on let me let me figure out where the camera's at all right hold on here we drive a lot of trucks so the camera how about button. this how about you you go in the truck okay and I'll I'll do the tailgate because I know all how right. to open that you're gonna be the model I'll be the model yeah with my bad hair all right let me know when you want me to open it okay you could probably open it actually from inside yeah I can so let's boot up this fancy platinum. I said boot up. <laughs> These tracks are becoming so computerized. So wait a minute. So, okay, let me look at the reverse. So there is Roman. All right, Roman, we see you. All right, I'm going to drop the tailgate. Okay, drop it. <laughs> so... <laughs> And bam, look, it's using the different camera. So I could still see Roman even with my tailgate dropped. Um, that's pretty neat. How was it? Look, uh, look at this. Okay. Still perfect view. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. So it automatically switches cameras as the tailgate can, can is dropped. Can you raise it too from in here? Oh, uh, let me try. Here. Try. Oh, yeah. It's raising, coming up. There he is. And now, bam. <laughs> That's a cool feature. I mean, it's pretty neat. Look, and now we have our, we can back up and we can kind of see the lines in well, the camera as well. Well, let's do this. Let's take the gasser for a drive first, then we'll come back and take this for a drive. Sounds good. All right. So, so this is the XLT. Yep. It's a little plasticky in here. Yeah, and uh, I printed out the price sheet because I did want to go item by item and right. see what this truck has. All right, let's take it for a ride and I will I will read down the spec list on this one. So uh, base price, like you said, is 54510 uh -huh. Uh-huh. It's got the 3.73 locking rear axle on Yep, right? we have a locker. A sports appearance package, 2955 All right, how much do you think the XLT premium package is? Well, I kind of cheated. I, I, I saw that before. It's $4,000, dude. Yeah. Then you've got a $400 um, uh, Ford uplift integration whatever that is so upfit um uplift. It's, it's upfit oh, upfit not uplift. Uh, upfit is go drive um yeah we'll talk upfit is really um interesting because you know you could if you have a fleet of these yeah um you, there is other ways of you know you can add a plow to it lights to it okay you can control them using 
uh, built-in um, accessories uh -huh. here. And also... I still don't know what it is. <laughs> what is it? Just in one sentence. What is the outfit? Is, one sentence? Yeah. Okay, what, let me, is, is it let something me, for let contractors? Let me, let me so it, it's not just for contractors. Right, hey, for, you know what? Left here. Guys, in the comments below, if you know what it is, leave a comment, okay? No, no, I know what it is. <laughs> I know. But I could spend an entire video explaining this That's to you. That's why I'm trying to get through this. <laughs> <laughs> you had your two minutes of fame, Andre. The 10 hour cover, Andre, how much? $2,200. Oh, you, you know this stuff, huh? Uh, that's a lot, actually. Oh, keep going, keep going. Uh, vehicle more. safety by Council Volt. What? Vehicle safe by Council Volt. Okay, it's here. Oh, there's a volt right there. Look at that. With a with a uh, with a lock uh, and yeah, a combination, combi combination yeah. lock. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's what it says. Vehicle safe by Council Volt. Uh, back glass defrost. Oh, I, I we need that. Sixty bucks. Okay. Pro power on board. Yes, two thousand watts. Right. Two K. Yep. Two K. How much? Nine hundred eighty-five. Well, that's expensive, actually. That is expensive. Power moonroof. Twin panel. Holy cow. It's a big one. Uh, how much for the moonroof? It's not cheap. Fourteen ninety-five. Okay. Well, it could be worse for the moonroof. Tailgate step. Three seventy-five. Okay. Uh, bed liner. Six hundred. Five ninety-five. Okay. Two batteries. Two hundred and ten. And finally, cloth. Forty console. Forty seat. Three hundred. Well, we do have clo cloth seats. We do. Why do I have to pay for cloth seats? For a whole total of 70,910. Oh, that is quick, dude. That's, that's got some beans. It's Godzilla. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that was wrong. It's okay. not Mothra, it's Godzilla. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. So, but look, it still has a lot of cameras, right? Yes. It has big screen, so 12 inch display here, 12 inch gauge cluster here. You've been on a camera thing recently. I like yeah, cameras. You like cameras. Yeah. Pro power on board. Yeah. I love this. You know, remember my F-150 hybrid has a 7.2 kilowatt system. All right, could, uh, can I be a little critical yeah, of the cameras? Yes. All right, so they're cool and they're fun to show on video, but they have some real faults. And I'll give you my biggest, uh, like, Roman rant with oh, cameras. Okay. First of all, a lot of them are like, you know, potatoes. So when it gets dark, and you try to back up, all of a sudden the picture becomes completely pixelated and yeah. it's almost useless. I don't know if this one is better, you know what the definition is, it's not dark, but a lot of them we test drive when I need it at night to make sure I'm not backing up over the neighborhood raccoon, Yes, um, it's useless. And my other issue is we just came back from Moab where yes. uh, these trucks have, you know, tall front ends you can't see, so it's nice to have a camera in front, but it's only about 25% useful because it's completely flat. So you could be on a cliff's edge that's 2,000 feet below you and you would have no idea that there's a 2,000 foot drop because the camera completely flattens it out. Well, that's what cameras do. They flatten things out. I get that. <laughs> But I'm just saying it's a two-dimensional thing. My, my eyes, you know, work better uh, than I, some of these cameras. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. But look, look, you can see a lot of detail in this in this view. Yeah, for it's sunny, which is fine. Yeah, but this bed view is grainy, right? But so it's already it's, grainy now. Yeah, yeah, it's already grainy and yeah. it's sunny outside. So yeah. it depends on which camera, of course, you're looking at. Um, here's the front, kind of a wide view, all that I mean, stuff. How much more can it be to put in a high def camera that is actually good in low light? Could it be 10 bucks more, 20, 50? I don't know. Well, this truck is already 70,910. How many more dollars do, do, but, can but, you spend? But it becomes like, you know, so the government mandated backup cameras, yes. right? And, and the manufacturers, for the most part, I'm not just picking on Ford here, I'm picking on all of them, right? So, yeah, we'll put a camera in the back of it, but we'll, we'll find some Radio Shack leftover camera <laughs> and slap it back there <laughs> that is pretty useless under, you know, anything but ideal sunny conditions and it has gotten better over the years as cameras have become more ubiquitous but still all right enough of my rant i'm like you now with the, <laughs> with the what is this called the uh upfit the upfit yeah so basically i didn't want to cut you off andre so basically that's the upfit a, allows a, people to do things like put on uh snow plows right but but also control it using the screen so it's a little bit more so how do you control con snow plow using the screen i'm trying to show you okay uh where is that button? So there would be a separate upfit screen where you have different auxiliary stuff. And then you also, they give you like a software package uh -huh. for your computer. Yeah. So you can actually program certain things. Like for example, if I open my door, normally, let me try this. I'm in reverse. Right. 
transmission, transmission not in park. park right so you can program like your snow plow when you open your door it actually lifts Oh. So you have actually a little bit more control over your vehicle and it's quite complicated. That's why I said we can do an entire video just about the outfit. Well, I apologize. You uh, know your outfit and it is interesting. Uh, is it worth 350? I guess, or is it 400? It's 350. No, I can't remember now. And I can't it's find $400. It. Yeah. Is it worth 400? I suppose if, you know, if you, you're working with if it, if you're yes. a working yes. person, yeah, it's probably worth it. All right. Shall we go uh, and take the, uh, uh, the diesel for a drive? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Whoa. Whoa. This is way nicer. Yeah, this is fancy. Leather. So this is platinum. This is yes. above King Ranch, dude. This is, yeah. Yeah. Look, different materials, stitching. Is this, does this got, some of them have that, uh, no, no, uh, no little lockable cubby, but you have an integrated winch controller. Yep. Look at that. We have a winch controller. Look, remote. Winch nice. remote. Yeah. That's nice. That's really nice. Okay. By the way, uh, we have a price sheet on this. Are we going to unveil the price right now or no, a little no, bit no, later? I'm, I'm going to give you the options, but I'm not going to give you the the total price. The total. So if, if you know if you're an astute mathematician watching this, you could probably add it up yourself. But I, I will not. I will so not by the way, show you one the thing strikes me, Roman. Yes, is that we don't have a panoramic sunroof here. Oh my and god! This is like the like, no, most luxurious, one of the most luxurious uh, super duties. So this one starts at uh, seventy-six thousand eight hundred sixty-five. Already? Yeah. So it's already more expensive um, than the you know the regular one that we just test drove the XLT. Uh -huh. So you're paying the paint color. Get this, is nine hundred ninety-five dollars. Is that the azure? Azure gray. Uh, azure gray. Azure. Azure. Okay. Azure. Okay. That's the way so that's already you're that's paying. The, that's the way us Super Duty drivers pronounce it. Azure. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry you XLT drivers don't get that. I think only in Yellowstone you pronounce it like that. Azure. All right. Uh, how much do you think the uh, diesel costs, the power stroke? Oh, I know this because it's the high output one. Yes. 12,500. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. Now, this is actually a bargain. And it may not seem like it, but if you were to do this yourself, it would cost you as much or more. The 12,000 pound winch, which by the way, isn't enough. I think- 12K? The, yeah, yeah, I think they should go at least 18K. Or 16.5, you know, mo a lot of heavy duty trucks That's have 16.5. 16 I thought they were yeah. 18, anyway. Um, that one's 3,955, basically. Almost four grand? Right, but dude, if you were to buy, like, you know, the top of the line Warren winch and then have somebody install it, it would be expensive. You know, we talked to Ford about this when yep. we were building our truck, the yep. F-250. And they said they um, specifically for the tremor, they crash test them, they warranty this, and it's installed right there. Yeah, yeah, I, I would pay that in a heartbeat. Having installed way too many winches and paying way too much <laughs> money. How much do you think the vinyl floors on this cost? Wait, vinyl? Yeah, it's vinyl got vinyl floors. floors. It's a $115 option. Oh, this is for the working luxury man. This is for the working tremor. Yeah, because Driver. you're in the mud, right? Yeah. You're in the mud. Yeah. You're That's you're right. trying to work. Yeah, you, well, or you have to pay to, for that. Yeah, or you're trying to play. You don't want to get mud on your carpets. God, that's silly. I have All to right. pay for that. Yes, you do. 115. Okay. All right. Uh, Tremor off-road package, Andre. How much do you think you're paying for the big sticker? Oh, I want to say 4K. Now for that, of course, you're getting suspension. You're getting a lift. You're getting off-road tires. Oh yeah, you spun the rears a little bit. <laughs> you hung the back end out, Andre. Well, it's 35s. We yeah. got Duratrax. So for that, you're paying 4,375. For the Tremor yeah, package. Yeah. Okay, so once again, Ford Pro Upfit 400, same thing. Oh, it has the Upfit. It also okay. has it, yeah. I got a feeling that that's one of those options that a lot of dealers are gonna put on there. You know, like the snowplow package that most people will never use. <laughs> but it's hidden somewhere in the system. But, but it gives the dealers more uh, profit. That's just my guess. Okay. If you're a dealer, okay. you can be, you know, the one to comment on this. Uh, 10 out cover, we know, $2,200. And yeah. finally, same thing, uh, spray and bed liner, uh, $595. How much do you think the destination charge is? I want to say it's just under 2K. Very good, $1,900. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. By the way, I do have a heads up display. It's probably very hard for you guys to see, but I do have a heads up display and I can reconfigure it. Oh, there it is. You can see it. Hey, can you want another Roman rant? <laughs> Uh, just uh, yeah, please. No, no, no. It's okay. Today. No, people love rants. I can't. I know people. People hate rants, but I do them anyway, because that's how I roll. I don't love 
the heads up display because I always wear polarized sunglasses. Oh, okay. Uh, and they don't work. And it's very frustrating because I see these kind of like semi transparent numbers with my sunglasses and I take them off. I'm like, wow, that's cool. And then it's sunny, especially in Colorado with the snow, and I put them back on and the sun the heads up display completely disappears. I see that. Do you have By a the problem? Do you, you, know, you wear sunglasses? I don't, I, not a lot. No. Not a lot. I do wear sunglasses, of course. I would prefer it right now, but um, I was going to say, Roman, you also asked me about towing yep. and payload. Um, so when you get a gas truck like the one we have here, the red one, uh -huh. um, you gain payload, right? Because the diesel engine weighs a lot. Yes. Um, so let me actually line up. Do you know so what the payload can, is in that one? Yeah, 3,300. Oh! And, and 2,800 here. Oh. So you have... 500 more pounds of payload in that truck for less money for less money so if you are carrying like a camper maybe on the back of your truck if you want to build out but, but you don't get the seats that lie flat andre or massaging or massage, or massage yeah, you yeah, yeah yes yeah i don't and, uh, we have auxiliary switches here too yeah they have like a lot of auxiliary after. yeah three four five six six of a mile so that's a lot of toys you can add to the truck yeah so this is really fancy what's the final price I'm going to tell you when we get outside. Okay. Hey, Andre, come and check out this beautiful Warren Winch. Look at that. Oh, yes. Integrated, and like you said, in case of an accident... Uh, it's a, it's all tested, right? It's all tested. Here's your wired controller, Ford Performance, so they stand behind this. Now, look at the chin on uh, the XLT. Well, <laughs> so there's almost no chin here. Yeah, look at that one. That's for fuel economy. This is a big chin. Yes. By the oh. way, you still will get worse fuel efficiency here, even though this is lighter weight, uh, the gas V8 moving this big truck. Well, we'll have to test it, right? Yeah, then we're so, 100. So, guys, you know, this is our first video this just in. We got big plans. Thank you, Ford, for sending these trucks. So we are going to, of course, take them off the eye gauntlet. We're going to do some MPG testing. We're definitely yeah. going to take this one off-road. Yes. Uh, so if you're looking for more detailed information, uh, you know, it's coming over at all TFL. Now, Andre, I teased the fact that this one is more expensive. Should yeah. we tell them? Yeah, let's do it. All right. How much? Hundred and four thousand. What? Hundred and four. About it's over thirty thousand dollars more. You could get a Maverick. <laughs> so the, wait, there's thirty-three thousand between them. Uh, Approximately thirty-two. About thirty. Uh, yeah, about thirty-two thousand. So, so a Maverick. Yes. A Maverick. You could get a Maverick uh, if you decide to go with the XLT gasser versus the uh, Platinum two fifty Tremor. Platinum. <laughs> Platinum Power Stroke, which is a lot of money, isn't it? By the way. If you're probably saying both of these trucks are too expensive, which is probably true, but you can remove options, right? We showed you all the options well, you have I, on this. I'm not sure it's true. You know, everybody, every, here's the funny part, right? Yes. You guys are always like, oh, first comment will be crazy expensive. Yes. But Ford wouldn't build them if you or somebody out there didn't buy them. So the good news is the truck market is returning back to what is kind of normal. It's and, correcting. Yeah, and so yeah. now we're seeing discounts again. And so, of course, these are numbers that are MSRP and hopefully with the return to something akin to what we used to have, they'll start to have cash on the hood. They'll start to lower the APR. So a $104,000 truck actually may be less when you get to the dealer, I'm hoping. But if you don't like it, don't buy it. Get that guy. Exactly. And like Roman said, alttfl.com, please stay tuned to that because we have many more videos coming. See, now I can see heads up. <laughs> <laughs> heads up. Heads up. See you guys next time. Ciao.